Hi, this is TechnoTed007. I'm building a shunt resistor so I can measure amperage. Um, I have a I have multimeters that go up to 10 amps, but uh, what I need to measure is somewhere between 15 and 20 amps. And uh, I'm going to build a shunt resistor with some number 10 wire, uh, make it about a foot long, and it should be within maybe uh, half an amp or less. So let's give this a try. I was going to wear safety glasses. I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of metal pieces stuck in my eyeball, little tiny things. And uh, typically happens when I'm grinding or cutting or something. And I don't like that. It really causes a big problem, can cause eye infections. So I'm wearing safety glasses. So here um, I'm drilling holes in the base. I'm going to mount these bolts to to attach the wire to. I'm putting the bolts in. So I've decided to strip all of the coating off the wire because it lets me adjust it to be more accurate. I'm just going to hook these jumper cables up to the wire and I can adjust where the jumper cables touch the wire and then I'll um, fine tune it. I solder the connectors on here so they stay on good. And after this I'm going to twist the wire into spring shape. And the only purpose for that is making it shorter so it fits on the base. It has nothing to do with the resistance of the wire. set to millivolts. So I'm measuring the voltage drop across this wire with the tiny resistance that's in here. Now when I, I'm going to have to make some adjustments here where this goes on here, but I have an idea how to do that. But once I do, once I get it where I want, then one millivolt on here will equal one amp running across this wire. Oh, I knew I was bound to miss. Okay, so this is screwed on there. Okay, so I'm using the multi-tester here, setting to millivolts, hooking into the terminals, the, sh the ter terminals that are closer together, and then running jumper cables from there with little alligator clips to the shunt wire. And I will do a test run to test it to see how, uh, what kind of reading I get. It's not going to be accurate this time because I'm just randomly put the put the uh, alligator clips near where they should be. I'm also using a, a car battery here because uh, I don't have a power supply that can provide, you know, 15 amps. So I'm using the car battery to do this, and then I'll just stick it on a battery charger when I'm done. Working up my little contraption so I can uh, hook it to this motor. So it's showing 11.8 amps, but that's not actually going to be accurate. So we'll test it again after I fine tune it. So here I'm thinking I need to come up with an idea how to tune this thing. So I found a drill motor, which is going to draw less than that, under 10 amps. So I'll put my other 
test meter in series and be able to see the actual current draw. Then I'll fine tune the multimeter set to millivolts to the same amount. The wire. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, it works. To the, to the 12 volt battery. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook one end up to the negative. So, this is 1.4 amps. Uh, let's measure that on just... Amp meter. 10 amps. Okay. So that means... down a little bit. Somewhere on 1.62. Alright, so we know that's 1.62, right? So, if we hook it up to this... <clears throat> okay, I muted the audio here because the motor noise is kind of loud. But <clears throat> what I'm doing is first setting the meter so I, it doesn't capture the, the highest reading. And then I'm moving the alligator clamps to 1.6 um, millivolts so that it will equal the 1.6 amps that I measured on the other meter. And that way I know that the uh, clamps are in the right spot. Okay, you ready? Let's see what that says. Well, <laughs> I got a little carried away. So I'd go up to 48 amps and a big spark. So I have to remove the cable before it hits that stop so I can actually right, measure it. All right, you ready? So we're looking at about 14.5 amps. Yeah, so 14.5 amps. It's probably accurate to the nearest tenth of an amp. Looks like it worked. I still wish this was a solid conductor. Boing, 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 boing. So it's 14.5 going in that direction. There's a spring on this motor, so. Um, I want to do it the other direction. All right, can you see that? Should be able to. Alright. I'm gonna switch this again. And then let's see what happens. 13.4. Is that it? Can you guys figure it out? Mm -hmm. 